वेलकम टू माइक्रोवेव एंड इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू जनरेशन ऑफ फेस डिले इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इन दिस वीडियो नाउ सी जनरेशन ऑफ फेस डिले क्रिएट्स मैनी अदर इश्यूज रिगार्डिंग सिग्नल प्रोपोगेशन सो दोज इश्यूज दैट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस बट हियर आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ एक्जैक्टली फेस डिले इज गेटिंग जनरेटेड वैन इट रीच इज टू दी लोड एंड हियर वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू दैट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू चेंज इन फ्रीक्वेंसी दैर विल बी चेंज इन फेज एंड एट माइक्रोवेव फ्रीक्वेंसी इट विल बी वेरी एसेंशियल टू नो हाउ मच फेज इज गेटिंग चेंज वाई द रीजन इज दैर विल बी लार्ज स्केल चेंज इन फेज when you change frequency in terms of microwave frequency and every engineer must know this the reason is before you design transmission line for any circuit you should know how much phase delay is happening otherwise that circuit may create many other issues regarding signal propagation so i request all of you to see this video till last to know how phase delay is happening now to understand phase delay let me explain you that by practical example in which i'll be going to consider one transmission line and with that transmission line i'll connect source and i'll connect load at output so we have transmission line with characteristic impedance z0 and this is my input terminal let us say it is p p dash and this is my output terminal let us say it is qq dash at input terminal i'll be connecting supply that is vg and let us say vg is equals to v0 cos omega t at output side i'll be going to connect load impedance let us say that is zl now here length of the transmission line that is also given to you let us say length of the transmission line is l now here i'll be going to explain you how signal propagation will happen and how there will be generation of phase delay at load side but before that one must know that when you connect supply with transmission line to insert signal inside transmission line it is very compulsory to have impedance matching of source with transmission line so here this is what our source which is vg and this is what our transmission line both impedance that should match to have signal transmission inside transmission line here for simplicity i am saying you have designed source with 100% accuracy and there is 100% impedance matching so that one can say that voltage at terminal pp dash that is equals to supply voltage in case of 100% impedance matching and vg is given to us that is v0 cos omega t now once signal is inserted inside transmission line that signal will propagate in this direction and it will reaches to load where we have qq dash terminal now to receive signal at load it is very compulsory to have impedance matching of this load with transmission line again i am assuming there is 100% impedance matching of load with transmission line so that we can have maximum signal transfer at load now when signal will reaches at qq dash at that time voltage will not decrease as 100% impedance matching is there but here time will required to reach from pp dash to qq dash see frequency will also remain same but here our time that will get added when it reaches at qq dash right so let us say delta t time that is happening when it travels from this terminal 
to this terminal now on which parameter delta t is depending so delta t that depends on propagation velocity of signal right so here if i say propagation velocity of signal that is vp then delta t that we can define based on propagation velocity so let us say propagation velocity that is vp so that will be length of the transmission line that is l and divided by time period so based on this we can say delta t is equals to l divided by vp now let us place this in this equation so now you just observe when signal is reaching at load there will be generation of phase that is omega l by vp let me say this is v0 cos omega t plus phi now here we are dealing with to understand how this phi that is been depending on different parameters now to understand this value of phi with respect to different parameter i'll be going to consider two different cases let us consider first case in which frequency f that is equals to 1 kilohertz length that is equals to 1 meter and phase velocity that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second now in this situation if you calculate this phase then that is 2 pi fl divided by vp and this will be 2 pi into f is 1 kilohertz into length is 1 meter divided by phase velocity that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 and if you solve this this 2 will get cancel and pi is 3.14 into this 10 to the power 8 will go in numerator as 10 to the power minus 8 so this will be 10 to the power minus 5 radian so as a frequency is 1 kilohertz in that case phase is 3.14 into 10 to the power minus 5 radian and this phase delay is very small that we can say but now i'll be going to give you practical example of frequency in terms of microwave so let us consider 1 gigahertz of frequency with same parameters so if frequency f is 1 gigahertz length is 1 meter and phase velocity that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second in that case our phase that will be 2 pi fl divided by phase velocity so that is 2 pi into frequency that is 1 gigahertz means 10 to the power 9 length is 1 meter divided by phase velocity is 2 into 10 to the power 8 so if you simplify this you see 2 will get cancel and pi that is 3.14 into 10 to the power 9 divided by 10 to the power 8 so into 10 means this is 31.4 radian and this is very large phase right 31.4 radian that is extremely large phase so my dear students you just think about this how phase is getting increased with respect to frequency so at microwave frequency there will be large phase delay there will be large phase delay in every situation so it is extremely essential to know what is the length of transmission line in our circuit so this is what the key point which we need to focus about when we design transmission line i hope you have understood this 